Hi guys, today I am going to be showing you another trap called the legal trap and without any further ado, enjoy the video. So the opening starts off with e4 and e5, knight f3, knight c6 and bishop c4. So now black plays d6, white plays knight c3, developing a knight. Black now plays an aggressive move, bishop to g4 pinning the queen and the knight. Now here comes the start of the trap. You have to play h3. Obviously the bishop has to move, otherwise the pawn on h3 will just take and well, white will win, so. Black decides to play bishop to h5, maintaining the pin, but that is a bad move. Feel free to pause the video for a few seconds and try to find out what the correct move is. Believe it or not, the correct move is actually knight takes e5. Here is why. Variation number one. If the bishop on h5 takes the queen on d1, you have to play bishop up to f7. The king has no choice but to play to e7. And knight d5 checkmates, which is very beautiful and black is going to be very sad. Variation number two. If the knight on c6 takes the knight on e5, you have to play queen takes h5, and after knight takes c4, you play queen b5, checking the king and meanwhile attacking the knight. And finally, variation number three. If the pawn takes, you will take the bishop on h5 and win a pawn, especially also threatening to take the pawn on f7, which is going to be checkmate. To prevent this, you just have to take the knight on f3, and when the queen takes, you have to play knight f6, so the queen won't go on f7 and checkmate you. And it is a drawing position, and yeah. And that is it for today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>